It's a pretty tourist town by the mountains in Montana, but Whitefish is also home to this prominent white supremacist. Well, we want to expand white privilege and deepen it, and I, I mean that in a way seriously. Um, I do care about my people more than I care about other people, just like you would care about your family more than you care about other children. Why is an African-American not your family? An African-American could never be part of my family in the sense that he's not part of this extended family that is a race that have evolved over tens of thousands of years. They're all part of the American family. You appreciate that? Uh, they're living in this country in a way. In terms of who defined the United States, it was, it is not, it was never defined by Africans. Uh, it was defined by Anglo-Saxons, by white Europeans. Just as you're no longer European, they are no longer African. You're Americans. But I think I, who I am really ultimately does derive from Europe. A tremendous amount of white people want race and identity to just go away. Can't we just not talk about that? But it won't go away. Before this election, he and other white supremacists and separatists may have felt on the margins of society. But one man has changed all of that. Donald Trump came along, and I feel like my movement and my ideology, we can be a kind of vanguard for a presidential candidate, that his, his arrow is pointing in our direction. And that is what's worrying many Americans, that somehow unpalatable racist views have been, in a sense, legitimized by the rise of Donald Trump. The idea of Trump stepping into leadership in our country is absolutely terrifying. Well, what is terrifying about it? I believe that he is a bigot and that he could just tear us apart. He's playing on people's fears and he's really, really milking the ignorance of people, you know. He really wants to pretend like he's not a racist, but he totally is. They've needed the voice and a platform for, uh, for their voice and, and here's this guy right here, you know, who gets lots of attention. I don't really think he realizes what he's really saying and the kind of inflammatory message that he's sending. But others feel Donald Trump is more calculating than that and playing on the same fears white supremacists talk of. He's brought nationalism into the campaign. It's about survival and who we are. In America, is it really white people here that are really struggling to survive? Obviously, white people are better off on average than African Americans, that's clear. But I think there's a sense of our power is going to be diminished. We're going to be entering another, a new world where we're going to increasingly be a hated minority. I think in terms of average people, they see that Donald Trump is going to take care of them. Richard Spencer may be excited by Donald Trump, but whether he wins or loses, there are many others here who told us they felt Trump was already helping cause deeper divisions in American society.